let's go from the beginning of I got plenty of nothing, reading the notes on the fingers. Are we ready? One, two, ready, go. G, three, three, four, three, D, one, three. G, one, one, D, one, D, three, two. Let's play it from the beginning and we have to remember that the first note goes up way, okay? We place the bow kind of middle high part and we move it up way. It's G open string first. One, two, ready, go. G, three, three, four. string that means the third finger goes extended it is a minimum but on the bar number uh, 10 we have another F sharp and this time is a dotted crotchet and the crotchet we need to be careful with the rhythm let's say the rhythm together with T's and T's ready one two ready go ta 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 ha Ta, 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 T. Okay, careful with the ta, T. Dot a crotchet and a quaver. Let's say the fingers. Ready? Off we go. One, one, three. One, one, three, three. Let's play this part. Ready? Go. One, one, three. One, one, three, three. Ta, 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 ha. Ta, 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 t. Once more. Ready? Go. Ta, 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 ha. Ta. Let's put together this phrase from bar number 9 to bar number 13. Be careful with the rhythm and with the counting. One finger on the G string. Remember the third finger extended on the C string for the F sharp. One, two, ready, go. One, one, ta, ha, ta. it is exactly the same down the beginning up to the bar 18 where we have again first finger on the G string third finger extended on the C string and the bar 19 have different notes than before so let's say T's and T's together from bar 18 are we ready? one, two, ready, go Ta 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 ti ti ta ti 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 Okay, be careful with the rhythm, it's kind of confusing in these two bars. Let's say the fingers with the rhythm. One, two, ready, go. One, one, three, three, one, 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 three, 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 three. 
Let's play it slow. First finger on the G string. Remember the third finger on the C string goes extended because it's an F sharp. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ta, ta. It is important that we take good care of the slurs because otherwise the phrasing won't have any sense. We need to be careful when we tilt from the A string to the D string to do it as soft as possible to avoid interruptions in the whole sound, in the whole phrase. So if we try the first slur, one, three, one, one on A, in the three one on the D string, we have to be careful with the tilt. Ready? Just this. One, three, one. One, three, one. Really soft. Our third finger has to be really close to the D string to make the movement as tiny as possible and as quick as possible. One, three, one. One, three, one. If we keep the finger really far away, it will take too long to reach the string. One, three, one. And with the bow, we need to be really careful and soft. I'm gonna play the whole bar. It's like two bows with lots of notes in the middle, but making it super soft. Okay, in bar 29, we have the same finger structure, kind of, than this previous bar, but the bows are different, so we need to be careful. We have three down and then up bow down before on the 25 it was a whole slur and now we break the slur okay we play together ready go down up down Let's jump to bar 30, and here is the tricky part. We need to remember that the second finger is next to the first finger, it's an F natural, all right? Don't forget that. And also, we need to stretch the fourth finger enough to reach the proper place for tuning. Let's try without the slurs. Natural. Up to there. Once more. Ready? Go. slurs remembering the fourth finger and the F natural. Again we need to be very careful with the tiltings to make them as soft as possible. Again ready go. when you pause the video and practice this part a few times in a row. Well, let's go straight away to bar 33. In this one we have a shift to the third position. That means your first finger has to go to the third finger place. Remember to shift 
really softly with your whole hand in a block, nothing like this or like this, everything got together, moving your thumb at, at, the same, at the same time you move your first finger, everything got together, up until you find your viola's body. This is the third position. If you have a sticker, you will have to aim to the third finger sticker, all right? Let's try without the slurs. Check the third finger position. One, three on D, one on A. F natural, this is the fingers pattern. Not this one, careful. If you check, my third finger is on the same line than my viola's body. This is the place for the F natural in third position. One. Practice this a few times in a row until you control it. Now it's time to add the rhythm. It's ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ti, ti, ta. And again, ready, go. You practice this a few times in a row. Let's try to add the slur now. We have two different bowings. Down bow and the last F natural is up bow. Really soft with the tilt. Ready, go. We need to coordinate really well the bow movement, the pass from the A string to the D string and also our fingers movement. Everything should be really accurate and coordinated. Are we ready again? Ready, go. Practice this a few times in a row. Let's try to play now from bar 31 up to the end of bar 35 with the slurs really slow and we will make a tiny stop before the shift to shift properly. Are we ready? Three on the D string. Ready? Go. without leaving the thumb behind. There we go, ready, go. Let's try again. Three on the D string, off we go. to make the shift stop a tiny bit smaller. Ready, go. Let's go for the whole phrase without any stop. Ready, go. We play exactly the same than from the beginning. We are going to use the same fingers, etc. But from bar 42, we start closing the piece. It's like going um, slower and softer. We're going to have very long notes, so we need to distribute the bow really good, saving bow and don't, not moving it really fast. We are going to find semi-briefs tied with the minims. That means the length of the notes are going to be some, at some point six bits mixed with the minims. And also we have 
uh, two, three pairs of crotchets tied with a line underneath. That means we have to put them both in the same bow direction, but we have to make a tiny difference in between them. They will be all up bow, and I'm gonna try to play for you the first pair of crotchets uh, tied that on the bar 45 is a B flat, second finger next to the first finger on the G string, and it will be something like this. Ready? I'm not stopping the bow movement, I keep on moving it up, but I make a little bounce. B, B is like a wave. Uh, a bow, B, B. Really delicate. B. And the same is going to happen on the next pair of crotchets tied. Is the first finger on the G string is an A, a bow, one, go. I make a different, um, a tiny difference. It's like a little push in the middle. And the same is going to happen on the last pair of two crotchets tied. Well, let's try to play it now together from the beginning, quite slow. Remember that the second finger on the D string goes next to the first finger, the same than on the A string, but the second finger on the G string goes next to the third finger. And at some point we will find the third finger extended on the C string. We start up bow, G open string, one, two, ready, go. Okay, let's try now with the backing track. 